My love for cooking pushed me into trying recipes from all over the world to expand my taste palette. Two years ago, I discovered today's recipe. Spicy sear-fried octopus, called Nakshi Fukhelm in Korean. If you love spicy seafood, this is what you're looking for. I added my special touch to come up with a good, sweet, salty, smoky and spicy balance for the seasoning in this recipe. It creates a perfect harmony out of the two things I love the most, seafood and spiciness. You must try this! Ingredients 3 teaspoons of soy sauce 1 teaspoon of sesame oil 2 teaspoons of fish sauce 2 teaspoons of honey 3 teaspoons of flour 1 kilo of octopus 2 onions 4 garlic cloves 1 red pepper 3 tablespoons of chopped parsley 3 teaspoons of extra virgin oil 2 teaspoons of ground ginger 2 tablespoons of hot pepper flakes Adjust the dosage according to your tolerance to chili. 2 teaspoons of brown sugar. Put the octopus in a large bowl. Add flour and scrub vigorously for about 2 minutes. This process is not only to tenderize the octopus, but also cleans any dirt or mud stuck in the suckers. Rinse in cold running water until it's not slippery anymore and drain. Drop the octopus into a saucepan of unsalted boiling water for 5 minutes, then remove. With a knife, remove the extra skin and clean the octopus. Then cut into bite-sized pieces. Combine all the seasoning ingredients in a small bowl. 2 tablespoons of hot pepper flakes, 2 teaspoons of ground ginger, 2 teaspoons of brown sugar, 1 teaspoon of flour, 2 teaspoons of honey, 3 teaspoons of soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, and 2 teaspoons of fish sauce. Mix well all the ingredients. Add 3 tablespoons of the seasoning mix to the octopus and set aside. Chop the parsley. Cut the red pepper into small pieces. Finely chop the garlic. And chop the onions. Heat up a large pan over high heat. Add in the olive oil. Stir in the onions, red pepper, and garlic. Add in some parsley, cook for about 3 minutes until the garlic turns a little brown and the onions translucent.
Add in the rest of the seasoning and keep cooking for an additional 5 minutes. Last but not least, add the octopus. Cook for 10 minutes. The octopus is ready. You can serve it with warm cooked rice, noodles, or soybeans. Enjoy! Buen appetit, buen provecho, buon appetito. Thank you for watching.